In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make fast and easy animating captions just like you see below me now inside of Premiere Pro. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. And a huge thanks to Involved Elements for sponsoring today's video. You can use my link below to get 70% off your first month to download unlimited video assets for your next project. So this new tool that can animate your captions word for word is called Submachine. It's a plugin that you can use directly in Premiere Pro. And I put a link below if you wanna try it out as you follow along with this video. So it's basically designed for social videos. So if you're making Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, or TikTok, it is perfect for that. And it comes with three different styles, a TikTok style like this, a block style, as well as that moving background individual word style. And of course there will be more styles over time and you can even design your own. So before we jump into Submachine, you first need to use the text panel in Premiere Pro to generate a transcript. You can see I've already generated my English transcript and what I recommend doing is reading it carefully so there's no typos because the caption generation process will be smoother later on. Now we can click on create captions and it's important that we open up the preferences here and there's three important things we need to do to make sure the word for word animation works. The first thing to do is change the maximum length in characters to the minimum all the way down to seven. And the second thing we need to do is move the minimum duration all the way down to the minimum of 1.2. And lastly, change the lines to single and then select create captions. And now you can see we have our captions here and it's just word by word. And that's exactly what we want. So next we can go to these three dots and export it as a .srt file. And you can save this to whatever name that you want as long as it has the .srt. So let's hit save. So you can also see that Premiere Pro has the subtitle layer. We can actually turn this off because it's not needed anymore. Now we can go to the submachine panel and you can see it comes built in with some tutorials. So if you wanna watch those in addition to this to learn how it works, you can certainly do that. But let's go ahead and click on create. Now from here, we're going to import that SRT file that we just exported. And it's called short SRT because it's just word for word, right? So this is this SRT file that we just exported. So drag and drop it here. And now you can see it's been selected. So now in the Mogret field is where we drop in the Mogret that has the different stylizations. You can choose from these three built-in styles, the block style, the individual word style, as well as the TikTok style. But if you're an After Effects user, you can actually open up these Mogrets first in After Effects to restylize them to your brand so it's ready to go. Of course, you can drag and drop them here and restylize them using Premiere Pro's Essential Graphics Panel, but I find it's faster to just open it up in After Effects. So I'm going to open up the individual word background inside of After Effects. To do that, you need to go up to File, Open Project, and then you need to open up the Mogrit file. And essentially a Mogrit file is just a compressed After Effects file, so you need to extract it. So here you can see the style. So now we can update it to our own font, and we can use these controls here to update our own colors. If you're more advanced, of course, you can add some other effects to these captions. For example, if you wanna add a drop shadow, I'm going to drag and drop the drop shadow on each line. So once this is good, you can click set poster time and then export the motion graphics template. And we can save it to our local drive, into your project folder, whatever folder that you want. And I will just recall this gal and save the motion graphics template. So now we can drop in our restylized Mogurt here inside of the panel. And now we're going to click Create Subs. And what this is going to do is place the motion graphics template at the time codes following that .srt file. So it's just converting our caption into a motion graphics template. And as we hover over it, we can see that it has that style that we wanted. And so this is a 90 second clip. So it's gonna take longer, of course, than shorter videos that you're working on. So if it's a 15 second reel, it's going to be lightning fast. And this one will just take a little bit longer and it's done. So I was actually timing it and it took a minute and 24 seconds to do. So about the length of the video to complete. So if it's a 15 second video, I imagine it would take 15 seconds to do. So let's play it back to see how it looks. I just released my very own plugin for Premiere Pro and it's called the Premiere Gal Toolkit. 
So if you want to stylize in Premiere Pro only, you can actually go to one of these Mogurts, select it, and go over to the Essential Graphics panel. And here you have controls to update the text as well as the color. So if you change your mind and you're like, oh, I actually want this to be a yellow color, you can just go in here and change it to yellow but then you have to sync everything. So what you have to do is keep the playhead at this location of this Mogra that you just edited, and then you can select all of them and select sync all. And now you can see the progress bar. It's gonna go through all of the captions and update that background color to be yellow. And now that it's done, we can see I just released my very own plugin for Premiere Pro. So that's how you can sync the stylization. If you need to adjust the position, of course you can do that with the Essential Graphics panel too, but I actually recommend going in at Effect Controls. So if, for example, I can select this and I can adjust the position here of the subtitles. And then once I'm done, I can actually just copy this. So Command C or Control C and then lasso and select all of the subtitles, right click and paste attributes. And we're going to paste the motion. So that way everything is moved down and you don't have to sync all. So that's just one workaround that I found when I'm adjusting the position of the captions. And you may have to go through on an individual level and move a few captions just up or down, depending on if it's interrupting anything that's in your frame already. And so that's all there is to it. You don't have to use a third party app on your phone with Submachine. You can do it all inside of Premiere Pro. And I know that we've been wanting this for so long and it's finally here. So go try out Submachine. It's the very first version. See how it works and be sure to give feedback as well as it develops and see if you want any other particular styles inside of Submachine. And if you're looking for some mo some mo and if you're looking for some more motion graphics templates like kinetic titles and other cool social media graphics you can go to Envato elements and get 70 percent off your first month you can go to video templates and you can search for mogurt which is short for motion graphics template and you can see that there are so many different types of titles and the best part is is that it's unlimited so you can download any of these to try it out some of my favorites are this new nft promo mogurt so if you're creating nfts for people you can create these cool animating cards and their motion graphics templates so you can replace the media and update the text there's also these really nice social media quotes that you can update and use in your titles another favorite of mine are these shape motion graphics so if you need some nice transitions between your videos you can download these and update the colors and if you need a new youtube opener there's a YouTube opener Mogurt as well that you can install in your essential graphics panel. So I downloaded these 10 Mogurt quotes from Elements. All I'm going to do is drag and drop them into my essential graphics panel. And in just a few moments, here they are loaded up and I can use it just by dragging and dropping it into my timeline. And from here, I can resize it and move it over into frame and edit it using these controls over here to update the colors, for example. And the best part is you can use these motion graphics templates in any type of project, whether it's commercial, personal, YouTube monetization, TikTok, whatever, any type of video. So if you wanna try it out, I put my link just down below. And thank you so much to Envato for supporting the channel and sponsoring today's video. And if you wanna learn some more stuff about motion graphics templates, you can click right over here. And over here, you can go and check out my brand new toolkit for Premiere Pro. Thanks so much for watching everyone. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Whoop.